stories about Natalie. We've heard a few stories. These are tr true stories. Um, first, first one that took place just two days ago. Um, in the midst of all of our final wedding preparation, um, I happened to mention to Natalie that our apartment was in dire need of chocolate. Because our apartment loves chocolate. Um, yeah. Um, well, you know, later, later on that day, Natalie had to run an errand, and when she returned, she, she had with her a chocolate bar, chocolate ice cream, <laughs> and a big jar of Nutella. <laughs> Three forms of chocolate. Now tell me, how could I not marry this woman? <laughs> She lives and loves life three times as passionately as anyone I know. <laughs> and lastly, the second story is from the last, from the first summer that we were dating. I was I was out of the country for a few months, and Natalie was living at a friend's place for the summer. And her amazing kitty cat, which all of you have seen on our program, Vivian, what? not knowing the new area that they were staying in, got lost. And Natalie quickly em embarked on a fierce door-to-door -door campaign, searching for her Vivian. Complete with pictures and flyers, she took long hikes through the woods and had tearful conversations with the local residents. And late one night, driving down the road with a friend, they spotted Vivian through the window, looking right at them. And needless to say, Natalie was relieved. Um, but for me, watching this and watching from afar and hearing her tell the story to me and all that she went through, um, I just realized that this was a woman who lives you know, with fervor and fight <laughs> and heart. And that this was a special woman I was so lucky to be in love with. So I just want to thank you all for celebrating our love together. Barbara is with us. And I feel like she and my mom would get along so well. So let's please all raise a glass and toast to my parents' 40 years.
Okay, you just want to look at it.